Hello everyone, it's Carrie. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. I'll be showing you how I give a face up to this Briar Beauty and make her to look like Cordelia from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This will just be a face up video with the, the exception of this initial part where I'm showing you how I root the doll and I'm going to show you how I do the part and if I see that there's any spaces where I need to fill in, I'll go ahead and fill those in and that's how I just make sure that there's going to be a nice clean part with a, a lot of fullness in that area. So like I said, other than that, this will just be a face-up video and I'll give you some tips along the way, but uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell to be notified for future videos because I'll be releasing a special video next week, which will be a collab video. And in that one, I'll be showing you how I changed the color of a doll without any chipping. Uh, it's not completely foolproof, but it's pretty close and I can give you some tips on how to uh, change the color of a doll and kind of navigate any issues that you may have with the particular method that I'll be showing you. So anyway, just <laughs> make sure to, to subscribe so you can check that out and I'm excited to share that technique with you guys. So to get started, I gave her four coats of Mr. Super Clear. I've been asked recently a lot about sealing techniques because one of the biggest issues that several subscribers have is making sure that the when when they've sealed it that the pencil takes to the um, to the doll. So as you can see there with this particular one, the the sealant is pretty good because I was able to lay out that white and it came out pretty clean having a little bit of struggle with the black so it wasn't just perfect but I know that I'm just gonna go as push it as far as I can with the layers that I'm putting on now and then once I seal it a second time I'll be able to boost those colors up a little bit further after that second sealing so I hope that made sense. But uh, one of the questions that I had recently uh, was how to, how I do the ceiling. And um, I've addressed this in a few videos, but I guess it, it's something that we can always talk about because it's such a challenge to a lot of us, especially in the beginning, is learning how to seal. So what I do, um, I, I haven't had particular issues with weather. I know other others have and that's totally legit. I'm sure I just haven't encountered it in the areas that I've been in. Um, but um, uh, other than weather, what I do is I uh, hold the doll about eight inches from the can, uh, no closer than eight inches, and I spray very lightly one coat across and then two coats. So like kind of a back and forth. So it's, it's not necessarily a coating, but it ensures that it gets the right side and the left side. Then I wait about two minutes, two to three minutes, and then give it another spray back and forth. I do that four times when I first do my initial spray and it works perfectly. So um, I've, I've said before, if you're not using Mr. Super Clear, that may be an issue. Uh, I've tried just about other, every other sealant that I know of and it's the one that works the best. Um, for me, anyway, I, I know others have had success with other sealants, but I, I haven't. I've, I've had a decent amount of success, just not anywhere near as good as Mr. Super Clear. So if you're having trouble, that may be part of the issue. And also just the sealing process, you may be spraying too much, getting it too thick to start with. Um, you want to add four coats, but not thick coats. It doesn't matter how much is on it, it ha so much as it matters how it's applied. So just very lightly spray back and forth. Just one, once to the right, once to the left, eight inches away from the doll. And then wait a couple of minutes. Two or three minutes should suffice in it, if I, it may depend on the weather, but for me it's always worked. And then another spray. And then before I begin work, I wait probably at least 10 minutes for it to dry thoroughly before I start working and that helps as well. So I hope that helps. It's very difficult to, um, to coach on how to do that, uh, the spraying without actually being there and showing you. And, and, and sometimes it just takes practice and not every single time that you seal a doll is it really going to be as good as every other time. Sometimes I have a struggle 
with it working. And then, so I just, like I said, I'll just do as much work as I can with that initial coat. And then I'll go spray it again. I'll do it two times this time in the same manner that I described. Wait 10 minutes before I start again. And then it works really nicely after that second layer. So I hope that's helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment section. I'll be do my best to help. I'll also do, um, oh, here I'm showing my Derwent pastels some, since I needed a particular color um, of brown to do her eyebrows. I reached into my older pastels. I usually use my pan pastels, but these are, um, these have a little bit of a color variation that I don't have with my pan pastels. So I reached into those. But what I was going to say is, um, for if you're a supporter over on Patreon, I'll do a um, close-up video at some point on how I do the ceiling to show that in, in close-up. My supporters on Patreon are, get uh, at least one or two videos each month or uh, close-up tips, step-by-step -step tips where I can give them some uh, help on that. Uh, issues, particular issues that they're having, as well as one-on-one -on -one help each month. So if you're interested in learning, that may be an option for you, or just follow along to see what I have to offer. You can follow me on Patreon without actually having to um, to donate any uh, or uh, make any payments. So check that out in the description box below. So at this point, I'm adding some highlights to the eyes and upper lip. And just really layering up that white. At this point, I would have given her the second coat. So you can see it's, well, you may be able to tell it's going on a little bit nicer, cleaner. And I'm just pushing it to, um, to the next level just making sure that everything is nice and clean and defined before I start on the eye shape or the iris shape if you're a fan of Buffy the Vampire Slayer I've done this uh, character twice the second one I'll be releasing on video as well um, It'll be using a Clio doll, which was the customer's request for that, so it has a little bit of a different look. So stay tuned to that for that one to come out eventually. Now I'm just wanting to keep a little bit of a highlight down at the lower portion of the eye because the upper part of the eye is under the lid, so I like to keep that a little bit darker. So it kind of makes it look like there's a bit of a shadow over the color of the eye. And I'm adding a little bit of detail. This is another one of my Patreon videos where I added the detail to the eye in close up, slow, uh, regular time. Having a lot of fun. I'm sorry I keep mentioning Patreon, but I'm putting a lot of uh, time and effort into that. My focus isn't so much as a like donation or tip jar as a lot of Patreons are set up as. Mine is more of a <clears throat> learning modules and close-up videos and offering one-on-one -on -one help uh, to those who are subscribed. And it, it's just been going, it's a, it's a lot of fun and I'm putting a lot of time into it. And I hope you guys will check that out. There is just doing a little bit of uh, shading around the um, eyeball, making it look like an actual ball inside the eye and not flat like a lot of mine turn out to be or have in the past. I like to um, shade that a little bit better these days. Something that I noticed that I was doing that just I, I wanted to give it a little bit more pop, more 3D effect. So adding my eyelashes with my Faber Castell Art Grip, which is my favorite for the tiny lines. And just doing a little bit of highlights in the eyes with some acrylic paint, like um, in the reference photo that I was using. So then I'll gloss her eyes with some high gloss varnish and give her some eyelashes 
after spraying her with a few coats of Mr. Super Clear. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up. And like I said, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.